guys welcome back to the crafty maven getaway this is our inspiration piece for the week and I took a lot of the text and the background colors for my inspiration and then this is the sketch um, it's tw twerk it Thursday and we each Thursday we use a different sketch and I kind of loosely use this sketch this time um, so you can interpret the sketch however you want to interpret it and I did it a little bit looser than I normally do a lot of times when I do a sketch I like to do it almost exactly like the sketch but this time I thought I would um, do it a little bit different and try to be a little bit more creative with it and what I'm doing right now is just adding this clear gesso to this background and the kit that I'm using today is from the Scraptastic June kit so a lot of the papers and everything came from that and then I add a little bit of my own embellishments for my stash which we'll see in a little bit so right now I'm just drying that gesso that I put in I put it in two different places in the top right section and then the bottom left kind of where the two embellishment clusters are on the sketch and then I'm going to take um, some mist and add that all over the background and I'm going to show you close-ups of all those mists so you can see what colors I'm using I end up using um, what is it the Dilutions white ink two Lindy Stamp Gang inks and then this um, October afternoon ink so you'll be able to see close-ups of each of these if you need to know the names And I'm just going to use that smushing technique with the packaging to add all the color to the page. And in between each of the colors that I add, I'm going to dry the page so that the colors don't blend. I kind of want them to be somewhat separate from each other and not just one big blob of the same color blue. So I dry them in between to keep that effect up. And I believe the spray bottle wasn't working, so that's why I'm just dabbing it off um, with the the what is that the little straw that goes in the the ink and as I do this I'm just pulling the pictures back and making sure that the color that I'm putting on is going to be around the picture and the picture isn't covering up the ink that I'm adding on so I just keep dabbing 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 until I get the look that I want I think I'm gonna almost forget about that bottom left corner and then I'm gonna end up going back to it and adding it in And then I'm doing that with the slightly lighter colors. I want it to be just a little bit lighter than the rest of the background because I want the bigger cluster to be the focus on the page and not have quite as much. So I don't put as much saturation of color in the left bottom corner. And then to top everything off, or not to top everything off, but to finish off the blues, I am adding just a little bit of that October afternoon darker blue color just to add a little bit of extra contrast. And then to top it off with my white ink, I am making some splatters using the tip of the straw. And then I'm going to put some bigger splatters in using my paintbrush because I wanted to big a little bit bigger daubs. And I'm also going to be just flicking that paintbrush so I get a bunch of different sizes of um, little dots on the page. And I'm just kind of cleaning up one that got a little overwhelming. And that's a lot of it's going to be covered up with um, the embellishments and things that I use. So now I am taking some washi tape from my stash. And this is from Lily Little little bee design lily bee design something like that it's a uh, tape that's very transparent um, as far as the the snowflakes that are on it it's hard to see them but it does show up a little bit better on this neutral cardstock I've tried to use that tape in my December daily but it's really hard to see the snowflakes so you end up just seeing the color of the tape and the snowflakes are really really light blue and silver color but I think it adds a lot of texture to this and it's perfect for the photos that I'm using and so I'm just adding the different embellishments, or not the embellishment, but the different building up of the clusters on either side of the page. And then I'm going to switch to a different washi tape. Um, one of them is going to be from, I think I got it from either Michael's or Joann's. It's a really thin washi tape, and it's got like a chevron um, white and silver pattern. And that's right there. And that little brown spool you see to the right is another tape that I got off of an Etsy shop a long time ago and it just has a silver and almost translucent uh, stripe to it and I don't have very much left so I'm just kind of using just little bits of it not like I don't have enough washi tape in my stash I don't know why I'm trying to 
use barely any, but <laughs> I'm almost out of this particular one because they were just maybe like a couple yards on a little spool. It was perfect just to have a little taste of it and not have a humongous roll. And now what I'm going to do is on the left-hand side, um, and is it from the inspiration of the sketch, I'm going to be writing a quote on the left-hand side, and it is from Frozen, and it says, Some people are worth melting for. And the pictures are of my daughter and her friend. We just went to Disney on Ice. Oh, my cat is visiting. My cat, that's Casey. She doesn't visit very often, so I was surprised to have her come up. But um, we went to see Disney Frozen on Ice, and I got the pictures taken. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to use this quote, not to mention Frozen is just so crazy, extremely popular. It seems like everybody is saying the song and all this kind of stuff. Hopefully it is fading just a little bit since it's been out for quite some time, but my daughter is still in love with everything Frozen. Every time we see something at the store, she's like, oh, oh, oh my God, look at this. Oh, it's Frozen. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh. And it's like, oh, goodness gracious. It's like the same things over and over again. But, you know, kids are kids are crazy and they really like to latch on to things. So that is the thing she's latching on to. So I'm not going to show you all of this because that would be very, very boring. So I showed you a little bit of how I was doing it. I'm just taking a really thin paintbrush and that Dilutions white ink and then painting on or drawing on the quote. And I went over it a couple times just because it was fading a lot when it dried and soaked into the paper. So I went over it at least twice and in a couple places I did it more than that. And then I'm taking my Wink of Stella pen. It's just a clear glitter pen and then writing all over the entire um what is it called? The quote. And I'm going to try to show you guys what it looks like and see if you can see the shimmer, but it really doesn't show up on camera, but it's a really, really, really light shimmery um, look. And I just absolutely love those pens. I highly recommend them if you don't have one. And I like the paintbrush tip to it. It's fun to use and color in your different embellishments just to add a little bit of glitter without being too overwhelming. Now what I'm doing is just going through the paper that is in the collection or the kit that I got. And as you can see, this this is the June kit, then it's very summery, so not wintry at all. So I was actually able to find this one paper that has the blue and white flowers on it, and it was perfect with the color scheme. And that's the nice thing about these kits, even though they're kind of themed for a certain time of the year maybe, or they have really bright colors, a lot of times you can take the papers and things like that and make some completely different looking layouts just by mixing up the different patterns and I think this is a pretty good example of that is where I use the craft cardstock and the ink mostly as my biggest embellishment and then just adding some accents of this blue and white paper and you have a totally different look than earlier you saw there was um, some more of like a rainbow plaid kind of color and it, this is a completely different look so that's why I really like kits too because a lot of times you can kind of mix it up um, and not have all your pages look the same, even if it is from the same kit. So here I'm just trying to kind of measure and figure out where those pictures are going to go. That piece that I cut was too big, so I'm just trimming it down a little bit. And once I'm happy with the placement, then I'll start gluing everything down. And I just use my ATG gun on this. And I use my ATG gun also to adhere it to the background. And I have that clear gesso, and it's pretty gritty. And even regular gesso sometimes has some problems sticking. So you're going to see that the picture cluster kind of falls off a little bit later on but I get it glued back on and then I put some liquid glue behind it later on when I'm putting the embellishments on so you'll see that too so here I'm just trimming it up because I'm going to end up backing this all on a piece of white cardstock at the very end or close to the end of the layout and so I'm happy with that I'm just going to trim off that excess with my Martha Stewart craft knife and then that's my Tim Holtz ruler. I love that ruler, and that craft knife is the best. It just feels really nice in your hand, and it grips real nice, so I really recommend that too. And then I wanted to tie in the right cluster with the bottom left, so I'm just adding a little bitty strip of this paper. It's the same paper that I backed my photos with. And see, there's that picture. It kind of fell off, but it'll end up sticking in the end. And then I'm going to mess around with this a little bit, and then I'm going to mess around with a lot of the embellishments that came in the kit. So you're going to see me kind of fiddle with that quite some time. And what I found was they just they weren't going to work for me. I think I just had a lot going on and I was felt like all the other embellishments were too overwhelming and they just didn't quite go. So what I'm going to end up doing is pulling some very, 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 very old stuff from my stash and then adding it on. I think the only thing I end up using is this little flare button that says you and me. And I'm going to end up adding it in the bottom right hand corner. And the embellishments that I pull from my stash are some snowflakes that are like applique snowflakes, those iron-on applique snowflakes. I got them 
I think for free sometime. I don't remember where they came from. So I'm going to add those. I'm going to add these doilies here in a couple different places in the top um, of the cluster, the bottom of the cluster, and then on the left hand side. And that just kind of anchors my embellishments, which is nice because I felt like everything was kind of floating. So this is a way to get those anchored down. And so I'm just going to tuck those pieces in there, glue them down, and then trim off any extra. And then besides the snowflake, applique snowflakes, I'm also going to be using a sticker, old sticker sheet, and also an old, like, oh, they're kind of like rubbery kind of embellishments. They're supposed to be stickers, but I end up having to glue them back on. And I just use the snowflakes out of them. So here are those applique snowflakes, and I'm just going to have to glue them with my liquid glue once I get them placed where I want them to go. And so there's going to be three on the layout. And I thought, well, it was perfect to use snowflakes since it is a frozen theme. And then here are those other stickers that I have. And again, I've had these in my stash for quite some time. I think they were from a really, really old page kit um, that I got one time when I was scrapbooking at a crop. And so I'm just going to tuck these things in. And I didn't really want what that particular strip of sticker said. So I'm going to tuck it in just for the color and then it's going to end up getting covered up by the snowflake mostly and just the color of that blue is going to peek out for just a little at different texture on the page. So there, there's that snowflake and it kind of covers up that word that you see kind of peeking out on the right hand side. And then I'm going to pick another color that's a snow day. Again, it wasn't really working for me as far as what the saying was, but I'm just going to tuck it behind the doily to give a little bit of added color and texture to that bottom left hand corner. And then those are those rubbery kind of stickers. I have not used them yet, but they're pretty cool. They've got a really neat texture. Um, I got, Like I said, I got them quite some time ago, and I'm just going to use the little snowflakes out of there and add it to the clusters. And so now I'm happy with everything, and I'm going to start gluing everything down. Oh, and I did use that little snowflake circle there on the right-hand side by that cluster I'm working on now. I forgot. That was from that sticker sheet, too. So I'm just gluing everything down. I'm using my fine liner bottle to glue everything down, and it has Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive in it. And I got, want to thank you guys while I still have you while I'm doing all this gluing um, for coming over to the Crafty Maven YouTube channel, our Crafty Maven Getaway YouTube channel. And we are having such a great time. I hope you are inspired by the designs that we have put together this week so far. Um, and please play along on our Facebook group. The details on the Facebook group are going to be below. But we would love to see different sketches, and, or not sketches, but different interpretations of the sketch that um, I had posted up using some of the inspiration. So if you would like to do that, please um, add that what you've done to the Facebook group because we'd love to see it. And then also if you are enjoying these videos please give us comments below. We love hearing from you guys and we appreciate all the support that you've given us so far. So now I'm just finishing off. I wanted to add who said this which is Olaf and I'm going to end up painting it on but it looks kind of blobby so I'm going to end up trying to erase it off a little bit and then use my white gel pen to write it again. I didn't like how it turned out. It just kind of looked like a big lump. So I kind of tried to smush it around and then rewrite it down. And that's just my jelly white jelly roll pen. I used to use the Uno single Signo ball, but that one seemed to clog up on me all the time. And so I moved to this jelly roll pen and it's been working pretty well for me. And what I'm doing now is just putting little white stitches all around the layout. And then gluing down a couple little things that didn't quite stick. And I'm going to show you some, some close-ups and then I'm going to realize I really need a little bit extra so you're going to see me add some enamel dots on. And this is where I was gluing it down with that liquid glue because those pictures just weren't quite staying. So that liquid glue ended up holding them pretty well. Oh, and I forgot, I am backing this with the white background and I'm putting quite a bit of tape on here because the paper is really warped from all the mixed media and stuff that I used on it. And then this white kind of draws your eye into the page and I do this a lot on my pages. A lot of times I'll gut the middle too, but with the white cardstock I have quite a bit of that so I don't end up gutting it. So here are those close-ups, like I said, and then I'm going to end up deciding I want to add a little bit extra and put some enamel dots on. And 
And the enamel dots are just from my stash. I don't think I got anything from the kit, so you can just see me pulling from my stash. Those are some white kind of glittery sticker, thicker, or not thickers, um, enamel dots that I got from Michaels. And they're just the Recollections brand. And then I'm adding these little kind of tealish color ones. And I'm not sure where that pack came from. And then I'm adding just some plain white ones. And I believe the white ones also came from Michaels. I just kind of put them all in that little bin right there that you saw. So I don't know where I got them all the time. So here's some close-ups with those dots on. And that's pretty much it. The close-ups are next. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Please play along on our Facebook group. And thanks and come back again soon. Bye-bye.